YouTube, Desert Knife Guru, and we're going to do a folding knife review today. Uh, I was flipping through the 2011 Kershaw catalog, and I came to this page right here. These are all manual folders, and these all fall into the uh, high value, very affordable uh, EDC blades. I was kind of going through them, and I did a review on the G10 Hawk. I did a review on the OD1, I'm pretty sure. I did a review on the Chill. And then we came down to this one right here, the Nerve. And that kind of caught my eye. I like the shape of it. I like the uh, what looks to be a good ergonomic handle. And this is this one right here. And this is the uh, Nerve 3420. So I kind of made like a mental note putting that on my kind of my check that out list because it's very affordable. And uh, so I was in my big five sporting goods, which I hit once a week just to kind of check out what they have. They're not really known for um, crazy good selection on knives. But they do have some, and you get them, you know, periodically. So, uh, let's check it out. There it is. This is the 3420 Nerve, or also known as the Blitz. It is a um, 3 and 1 8 of an inch hollow ground blade. It has a thumb stud that is shared across the spine of the blade. So it is for right hand or left hand. It says Kershaw on this side. It's kind of a uh, bead blasted finish. Over here you'll see it says uh, 3420 Kai. And then below that it says 8CR13MOV. And then over there, off to the side, it says an R.J. Martin design. And R.J. Martin does unique blade shapes. Uh, one for an example would be, um, I think, the Zing. And uh, so definitely a different shape of a blade. It's razor sharp out of the box. Um, the uh, 8CR13 MOV. It's definitely a high value steel and uh, Kershaw is using this I think more and more, and more every day. The uh, handles are going to be CNC machined G10 and um, the overall length on this is going to be seven and a half inches. The Um, what was I going to say? Oh, handle scales are held on by Allen screws. One, two, and then of course the pivot, which is adjustable. Um, you can see that milling in the handles. It's kind of a around the track pattern to it. Kind of goes to the center. Uh, great texturing. Almost gives the handle almost a uh, dark gray look to it though. That might not be for everybody. Um, I don't know if I said good size lanyard hole. Could be a little bigger. I'm going to flip it over. It's got the uh, adjustable pivot which I said and then the, the screws. You can see the lightness in the G10 where it's been milled on this side. I just wish it kind of was a little bit darker. I don't know. I, I, I like it, but I'm not too fond of it. Um, pocket clip. Nothing too crazy fancy. I know the uh, Kershaw pocket clips kind of go kind of crazy sometimes. Um, very deep pocket, basic. Uh, right hand friendly only. Tip up or tip down. Nothing on the left. They do have a thumb stud, but no pocket clip. 
So those lefties won't be too happy about that. Jimping. The uh, steel liners, they have this uh, very high textured jimping, which is very functional. Uh, I know a lot of the uh, Kershaws that I've dealt with in the past either does not have any jimping or they um, have jimping that's not truly functional. This one is a very functional, gra good grip on your thumb. The Choil has the same aggressive jimping. It's a liner lock and it is a true strong lock up. Doesn't come too far over, it just comes over just perfect, I think. Very ergonomic handle, very comfortable. And you got the grip of the choil and the jimping in the thumb. And you got some jimping back here, which bites into the meat of the palm of your hand. Or in the reverse grip, you could use it for your fat thumb. Very comfortable. MSRP $39.95. I was able to pick this one up for $19. And uh, just a great value. CR13 MOV steel, Chinese steel. Excellent. Super sharp out of the box. Fast deploying. Excellent lockup. Great value for an EDC blade. Very fast deploy. I mean, I would say as fast as a assisted blade. Another high value, great EDC choice. A little heftier, almost a little overbuilt, I mean for the size. It's weighing in at 3.8 ounces. But a definitely an excellent choice for an EDC blade. I love that blade shape though. I mean, it's very uh, utilitarian. It's got a little bit of belly. Definitely a, a good shape. Nice sharp point for piercing. I just can't imagine that, I mean, for the price, definitely a great choice. Okay, so that's the Kershaw Nerve. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.